Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, we're going to keep going with uh, Business Central, uh, which I have up here. And uh, today I want to kind of go into how to find the income statement, uh, balance sheet and stuff like that. So I'm logged in as business manager role center, which is like this, comes out of the box like that. We you have your uh, insights, uh, sales this month, et cetera, et cetera. And if I actually uh, scroll down here, I have a trial balance, um, which is like a snapshot of the numbers. Uh, but obviously we want to see something more like this. Uh, I mean, we, we might want to look at different periods. We might want to look at the budget, uh, comparisons and stuff like that. So how do we get to that? Now in NAV, uh, previously called NAV, now Business Central, uh, we would use something called account schedules. And uh, I'm actually just going to go into that. So if I go up here uh, and I look for account schedules, uh, that, of course, comes up right here. And I get a list of account schedules. Basically, I can create my own account schedules if I like. And I have a whole slew of videos about that. Um, so you can look for those. Um, but if I go here into, for example, the income statement, I can go into overview. And that shows me the income statement live. So I can here see... Uh, the income accounts, cost of goods sold account, the gross profit, etc. So this is showing me the net change for the day, for a particular day. Let me change that into the month. So we see an entire month view. And then I can move into the previous period. So I can see the period up here. Now I'm in uh, March 2018. And we got some numbers for that. And let's say we want to see more columns, not just net change. I can change the column layout up here. Uh, and I can get into periods. Uh, now I can see current period, which is this month, and current period minus one, which is then the month before that. And current period minus two, which is month before that. So I'm looking at three periods right here. Uh, this can all be changed. So if I want to, let's say, add a line, to this account schedule. I can just close this out, go into my income statement, uh, and actually, let me see, just click on it like this. Yeah, it does give you a warning that this automatically is updated by the system. So anything that starts with M, actually in the demo system, you set this up in a setup, uh, it gets automatically updated. So if you modify these, these actually might be then overwritten by the system. Um, so let's just go ahead and modify a different one. Um, for to, let's go into the income and expense right here, and just edit it. Uh, so I get a list of revenue, extra cost, etc. And let's say if I want to add a line, I can add a line right here, and just say this is a test line added, and then I can just pick a um, a posting account which comes in here from the chart of accounts and I'm just picking anything right now this is obviously it's not making any sense I'm putting the accounts payable right here at the bottom I'm just showing you how you would edit it and then I can take a look at the overview of this again and now I can see that I have a test line added right here and accounts payable is here and if I drill into that I can see this accounts payable and drill into what actually makes that $50, which is an invoice. I can actually navigate just to show you how we can navigate through the system. And I can then show the invoice right here. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry, over here. Click on this and that shows the invoice. So, Account schedules are live uh, representation of uh, 
income statement, balance sheet, whatever you want like to create. You can create your own columns, own rows, and it's completely drillable all the way through. So it's really nice tool. As you can see, this is Business Central, works very similar to NAV 2018. So if you take a look at those videos, you can see account schedules taken to the utmost level. Uh, and, uh, and like I said, this is very similar in Business Central. So if you like this, thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for now.